Alright guys, we are going to casually go to Duna. Hopefully not get stranded there. <laughs> so, in this video, which is probably going to turn into a little mini-series, I'm going to hit on all kinds of craft design and mission planning stuff. Should be fun. But to start with, since we want to send my mission here, I want to send three Kerpels to the surface of Duna and back. Bring them back. So the first thing we really need is a lander that can carry three Kerbals. Um, we'll just use the Mark 1 command, or Mark 3 command pod. This will be a nice start. Um, we're going to do it kind of Apollo style, I think. So I'm going to have a command module. And then I'm also going to have a lander as a separate craft. So we'll have a docking port to connect the two. Um, this does not need any separators or anything. This capsule is just going to stay part of it. All right, so how much of this lander do we need landing? Let's take a look. Okay, so Duna, so we're going to start, whenever I design a mission, I always start from the end and work my way back. Uh, basically, like, start from the tip of the rocket and work my way down. In this case, the lander is the first thing I'm going to design. So, a low Duna orbit here on the map says 1450 delta V. So, with atmospheric and gravity losses, we'll say 1600. So, we need 3200 delta V. Uh, to get down to the surface and then back up to orbit of Duna. So we're going to put 32, maybe we'll shoot for like 3,500 delta V on our lander. Uh, so what can we do for 3,500 delta V? Let's do the... Oh no, because we do have to come down. Uh, Duna does have a bit of atmosphere, so I don't want to be too horrifically unaerodynamic. Uh, what does this give us with maybe a skiff? 23. That's not going to be enough. Oh, that's sea level, though. So change our Delta V tools to Duna. Set to vacuum. 29. Yeah, that's not enough. Uh, oh, yeah. What's our thrust to weight ratio here? 7. Oh, yeah, that's plenty. For landers, I like to have at least 5. Thrust to weight ratio of 5 or so. Um, you can go a little bit lower if you're brave. You can go a little higher if you're using a really efficient engine. Um, maybe the Poodle. 3,000. That's close. What did we say? 3,500? <coughs> hmm. 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 What is a good way to add? I mean, I guess we could just have a bigger tank. I said casual at some point. 4,200? See, that's way too much. That's too heavy. So let's do the medium tank like that, and let's do some... No. Oh, yeah, what's my thrust to rate, rate, rate ratio? Still good. Uh, oh, yeah, what are we at at sea level? Still pretty good. 332 seconds. That's still pretty good. Specific impulse. Hmm. Deliberation music isn't a thing. I don't think I have that. Uh. That's going to be way too much. 38. Oh, no. That's okay, I guess. Looks like poopy. Ah, oh, not with that engine. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, what to do? Oh, that's too big. Oop. Thirty-three hundred? I like that. That looks nice. Yeah. So you all white, and then we'll do like a ring of baguettes. I like doing this at the bottoms of my landers, or just on ships in general. 
3600 that's beautiful exactly what we signed up for here all right so we are going to need a decent amount of rcs for this because we do have to dock so let's give ourselves some regular rcs thrusters and some rcs fuel i'm actually going to do that with these guys Perfect. All right. So now we have enough fuel to get up and down. We have enough RCS to make up any uh, mistakes we might have. We need landing gear. We do actually have to get to the ground at some point. I think... F uh, it seems like overkill. This isn't that big of a lander. Maybe four of these guys. That'll be fine. Ah, uh, no. I'm gonna use the big ones. I'm just gonna do stuff and honestly probably explain very little of it, <laughs> but whatever. I'll need a ladder. I do this quite a bit where I'll offset the RCS on the one side for my lander. Little signature move. And this top one's gotta be curved a bit. Hit her with the old rotator tool. Oop. There. That'll work. And we need a little bit of solar power. There's a little bit of solar power. 3308 is a little bit slim. That's a good way to add a little bit more delta V to this. Maybe add a couple of small tanks down here at the bottom. Uh, those look like crap. That's not really. It's about 100. I want to add... I add about 200 delta V more. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. 35, that's just about perfect. That looks terrible. Absolutely unacceptable. Oh no. 
that's the wrong size. 34, 40 something? Yeah. Oh, that looks neat. This will look good. Oh, yeah. Pretty. I like that. Okay. 34, 47. That's close enough. At least we're going to say that that's close enough and we're going to hope for the best. Untitled Duna Craft. Save. All right, so this is our lander. And that should, for the most part, get us to the surface of Duna and back. Now we need a service module to get us to Duna and back. So, from a low carbon orbit, we need 950 delta V to escape. And then we need 130? That doesn't seem like enough. That's got to be, like, best case scenario. We'll pack 500 for this. Also, a slight inclination change to Duna. We'll pack 500 for this uh, leg of the trip. Then 250 plus 360, five, six, 610 delta V to circularize. So 700, 450, 950. We don't actually have to. We can arrow, we can arrow capture this on the way back because we have atmosphere. I mean, we could do it on the way there, but I'm not that much of a nerd. Uh, okay, so 600 plus 500, 2200 delta V plus, so 3000, 3000 delta V even is probably enough to get us there and back, especially if we plan it up. I'll, I'll draw it up so that we have 3000 with the lander attached the whole time, but we're going to actually leave the lander um, in orbit of Duna or maybe deorbit it. I might deorbit it. That sounds like more fun. Have you there? And speaking of deorbiting it, we need not that. Where do I want to put this? I guess up at the nose. Yeet. Oh. I can use that to deorbit it. Uh, oh yeah, auto strut. Auto strut everything. Auto strut, auto strut, auto strut. All of it, auto strut. Oh, that doesn't even have a right click menu. Interesting. Alright. So now we have our untitled Duna Craft. Now this is going to be our re-entry capsule. So this one will need to have a heat shield and parachutes. And we're going to put... Um, we'll leave most of that. That's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of uh, <clears throat> heat to dump. Also, we will need communications on here, and I think odds are very high we are going to have to do this in multiple passes on our way down. So I am actually going to include a solar panel as well, so that we can make power. is we will need to do that during our multiple passes through the atmosphere to slow back down. All right, so that's assembled. That's our capsule. We need to be able to jettison that capsule. 
or the uh, service module, rather. And the service module, we said we wanted 3,000 even on this. We're going to build it with 3,000. Oh, that's a huge payload. Maybe we won't. We'll see. We're going to put 3,000 Delta V in it to get there and back with our lander. What engine do we use for that? Uh, well, we're definitely going to need the big tanks. So let's just make a nice big fat S3 tank here. Yep. Uh, something vacuum optimized. Wolfhound? That could be fun. 36. Oh, wow. That's more than I thought. And a decent... Oh, that's Duna. Duna thrust-to-weight ratio, but still. What is that at Kerbin? Point 0.3 Delta V? Yeah, that's acceptable. I usually like to have this around, like, point two five for hyper-optimized stuff. But if it's higher than that, I know it's going to be relatively easy stuff. Easy burns. Um, yeah, sure. We'll do that. 38, that's overkill though. Let's make this a little bit smaller. 3283 with the lander attached? That's still plenty. Oh, wait a minute. That's the wrong. Oh no, that's the right engine. That's the other one, okay. Sure. Uh, actually, we are going to disable staging for that just to be safe. Yeah. What do these look like in orange? Kind of crap. <laughs> sure, that looks okay. All right, now the service module also is going to need some power just a little bit and some communications equipment let's have a small relay antenna maybe eh, do we really need a relay though we already have that nah we're just going to Duna that's try hard shit <clears throat> All right. Oh, we do need RCS on this for sure. This is also going to have to do docking things, which I suppose means this should move. Well, let's have you down here. Sure. And RCS fuel. works for me. Alright, anything else we're forgetting here? Probably. Who cares? Oh yeah, auto strut. Okay, that, that we do have to do. I always want to do the auto strut that gives you the longest line or passes through the most parts. It doesn't affect things that it passes through, it's just you want the the lines to stretch across as much of the craft as possible. Cool. Alright, then you will have your shroud disabled. You will also have your shroud disabled. Uh, let's Apollo style our law um uh, or our transfer whatever docking maneuver too just to be just to be dorks because that sounds like fun um yeah 
We'll use a 37 decoupler. And we need a big shroud. We're going to just start right with 5 meters? Yes, yes we are. Large rocket time. want to keep it centered <laughs> there. okay and that go together then we got the big engine yeah whatever I don't care we already did the math on that portion we know this is gonna make it there and back let's save and build our orbital delivery then we just have to get to orbit with this um, orbit I think orbital speed is 2.7. I usually put a little, like, 3,100. I think the map actually says 34, but I never need nearly that much. Um, we'll shoot for, like, 3,200 to get us into, into orbit. And how are we going to do that? Uh, S4 tanks, obviously. Two stages? Let's do... Let's do a big center core sustainer. Something like, like a bunch of J, J2s or whatever the hell the J2 thing, F2. The skiff. That's a good uh, center core stage rocket. Uh, speaking of which, what do we got? 25? That's probably plenty with some SRBs. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. What's this? way too long of a burn time but I think we can attach this however we want yes neat do bear Curbin sea level 0.61 1.48, that's about perfect. Cool. So... 0.7, yep. All right, so then we'll get the rest of our early thrust to weight ratio out of some big angry SRBs. What's our burn time here? 197 seconds? That'll work. I don't actually have any idea if that'll work. I'm just guessing. What, four minutes? Yeah. I think. Three minutes. It's plenty. It's gonna be plenty. Oh yeah, SRBs. Thoroughbred? No. Is it the Clydesdale is the big boy? Yes. This is what we need. Build one side booster at a time. All right, we got that. Uh, what does that actually put us at for? 1.2, oh yeah, beautiful, because we, we'll have a second one. That's perfect. I may even add an additional, actually I'm going to add an additional tank. <coughs> Excuse me. Nose cone, some separatrons. Oops. Perfect. Those go together with the horizontal decoupler. And let's add these on. Beautiful. That right there is a handsome rocket. All right, now we'll check our staging. That's good. Cool. So these need to light at the same time as the mains. Then that's our separation. 
16 and 16 is 32. So that should get us pretty comfortably into orbit. Um, mm -hmm, anything else I need to add here? Not really. I guess I could add a dump deorbiter core to this stage. But I think that and that and the fairing and yeah, we're not going to stage these actually. The fairing is going to happen separately because we'll still have this. We'll do this in orbit. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Time for a pause. And then when I come back, I'll launch.